Hi, I'm Shane with eTrucker.com. Today we're going to be going over the best options for flat towing your 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee. There's going to be five main components when flat towing any vehicle. You're going to need a base plate, you're going to need safety cables, you're going to need a tow bar, you're going to need wiring, and you're going to need a braking system. To flat tow the Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're actually going to have six components that we're going to need and one recommended component. You're going to need all those five components that I mentioned, plus you're going to need a stoplight switch, and then I recommend a battery charge line kit. Let's go through each one of those components a little bit more in depth. Our base plate is going to connect to the chassis of the Jeep, and it's going to give us a solid mounting point or connection point for our tow bar. Uh, this base plate is going to be Roadmaster's Direct Connect base plate. It's going to be a great base plate to tow this size vehicle behind your RV. It's going to have a nice black powder coat finish. Uh, it's also going to have removable arms so when we're not using it. We can remove those arms and it's going to maintain a nice clean look on the front of the vehicle. Uh, next is our tow bar. Uh, this is going to be Roadmaster's Falcon 2 tow bar. And what the tow bar does, it gives us that solid connection point between our base plate and our RV. Falcon 2, uh, 6,000 pound gross towing capacity. One thing I will say that this one is probably not the one I would choose. I would go with Roadmaster's Nighthawk All-Terrain for a couple reasons. One, it's going to come with the safety cables and it's going to come with the wiring. It's also going to have LED lights on each arm that are going to allow other motorists to see that you are towing a vehicle. Um, it's also going to have release levers. Uh, it's not going to have a button, it's going to have a lever, so it's going to make it much easier to unlock that arm when you get to wherever you're going. Other components, we're going to need uh, wiring. This is going to allow your vehicle to receive light functions from your motorhome while you're traveling uh, so that other motors can see what you are doing, whether it's braking, turning, or stopping. I recommend uh, Roadmaster's diode wiring kit. Uh, it's going to connect directly to the factory wiring, so you can utilize the factory brake lights. Uh, there are two other types of wiring setups. There are magnetic lights, which will work great if you are towing multiple vehicles. Keep in mind that you do have to put those on each time. Uh, you are going to have to find somewhere to store them when you're not using them, and you will have wires that are hanging off. Another option is... Um, bulb and socket. With the bulb and socket, uh, it's a great option, but you will have to drill a hole in the back of your taillight housing. You have the potential for uh, cracking that housing or cracking your light. So again, I recommend uh, Roadmaster's dialed wiring kit. Safety cables, they're going to be a secondary safety device in case your tow bar fails. As I mentioned before, the tow bar that I recommend, the Roadmaster Nighthawk All-Terrain. It actually is going to come with the safety cables and it's going to come with the umbilical cord already attached. So that's two components you're not going to have to worry about purchasing if you were to get that tow bar. Then comes our braking system. Um, the braking system is really going to depend on what type of RV you have. If you have an RV that has air brakes, uh, I recommend the Air Force One. If you have an RV that has electric brakes or hydraulic, I recommend the Stay and Play Duo. Um, in our vehicle here today, we have the Roadmaster Even Brake, which is going to be a portable or transferable braking system that you can use on multiple vehicles. I don't recommend using one of those if you're not towing multiple vehicles uh, because you have to find somewhere to store that unit when you're not using it or when you're wanting to drive your vehicle. However, with any braking system, they have to be tied to the battery. So. That being said, I always recommend with any vehicle that you are flat towing, I always recommend using a battery charge line. Inexpensive way to keep your battery charged so that when you get to your destination, you get in your car, you can start it, and you're ready to go. And then the other component that I uh, had mentioned that their 2019 Grand Cherokee is going to need is the stoplight switch. The reason you need a stoplight switch is because we can't tie into the factory wiring or brake light switch on the vehicle. And it has to have some kind of a signal for our braking system to work. So that's why you need that part for this vehicle. Again, I'm Shane with eTrucker.com. I hope this video has helped you when choosing the best flat tow options for your 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee.